just be a matter of time before something like this happened. U.S. researchers create 30 genetically modified human babies? Well, they're genetically altered. See, they're not genetically modified in the way that your tomatoes are. They're not uh, a hybrid between two species the way, say, spider goats are. What they did was um, they, they took the eggs of women who were uh, whose eggs were lacking might the mitochondria so they were lacking mitochondrial DNA so they took that mitochondrial DNA from another woman and then inserted that as well as the sperm into the egg so the baby comes out with DNA from three different parents a couple of things I'd like to say about this for one this is not the first time I've heard of this I actually heard about this years ago like back in 2004 I guess they've been working on it for a long time uh, Lord Winston of the Hammersmith Hotel Oops, I mean a hospital. Uh, Lord Winston actually works at the hospital, not at a hotel. And he said to the BBC, regarding the treatment of the infertile, there is no evidence that this technique is worth doing. I'm very surprised that it was even carried out at this stage. It would certainly not be allowed in Britain. Yeah, I mean, would, would somebody really pay so much um, and, you know, risk this? Uh, just to try to get a baby with blue eyes or and they give the example here of being taller But really your genes are no guarantee of anything You 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 even see in a set of supposedly identical twins a lot of times one of the twins is taller So you there's no guarantee and I really don't think that Yeah, well, you know, yeah, there might be some eugenicists out there But they could just pick a really good sperm or egg donor would they really have to go tampering around you know, as I'm saying this, I'm thinking, yeah, there's probably people out there who would do that. Anyhow, I don't think it's going to be widespread. And besides, it's probably already being done in places like secret underground bases where they, they've had this technology forever. It's been, it's been around for a while, and I don't know if they'd used it on humans, or at least used it openly on humans, if you know what I mean. And the other thing is that, um, see, there is something very similar to this that happens in nature that's called a chimera. And a chimera is when a person contains DNA, uh, two different sets of DNA, basically. So there were a couple of very high-profile cases of women uh, who were accused of not being the natural mothers of their children, as in they had stolen the babies. Um, although they were their, they were their birth mothers, uh, and it turned out that the, the reason the DNA, the DNA test seemed to show that they were not was because they were chimeras. So what a chimera is, is that usually what, what happens is there are two uh, embryos for fraternal twins in the mother's womb and they somehow merge into one. So that one body then contains the DNA that would have been uh, that of two different people. It, it comes from the same sets of parents, but it would be like if I was merged with my brother. So you could have the kidneys containing DNA that represents supposedly one person and uh, the liver or the skin containing DNA that represents a different person and, and that's why the DNA tests were so confusing. This is pretty rare, it's something like in less than 1 in 7,000 births, but it does happen and most of the time people have no idea that they're a chimera. Uh, this also, I would say, goes to show that DNA tests are far from being infallible. Although most people who are cameras go through life never even knowing that they are, um, sometimes it can cause problems, such as if the twins, the fraternal twins, were a boy and a girl. Now you have one body that has some DNA that's from a male and some that's from a female. And as a result, what can happen sometimes is that the children are born as hermaphrodites or intersexed. And I'd like to mention this because people say that there's no such thing as being between genders, that it's impossible, it's unnatural. But uh, obviously there is. Uh, there is for, this is one reason, being a chimera, and there are others that people can actually be physically born between genders. So the genetically modified babies, I don't know what they're doing this for, what, to have blue eyes? I mean, I, obviously for me that goes totally against nature, you're tampering with nature. Why don't you just use donor eggs? I mean, you're going to get a donor anyway. So you're going to use part of her DNA. Why don't you just use all of her DNA? Because who knows what the repercussions of this will be down the road and what this will open the door to. Down the road, will they decide that somebody maybe would like to have Spider-Man children? So who knows? 
And it's weird because the movie Spider-Man is out right now. It's like they're kind of promoting this stuff. I bet you that down the road they will do it, but I hope it's not for a long time. Actually, I hope it's never, but you know how things are. So, um, yeah, they're not, uh, you know, spider children, but I don't think they should be doing it. Let me know what you think. Do you think this is acceptable ethics and science or no? Uh, let me know what you think, and thanks for listening to me, and I'll see you next time.